What's up guys, this is Mr. Comer here and this is my video vlog for the Big Idea Project. Uh, this is my, maybe I think my third entry. Uh, I was in the middle of recording one during week two last Monday and uh, I don't know, I got distracted and it, it just never never came to fruition. I had this like long thing, so on and so forth. Um, and then we went on break and I came back and, and this is Monday of week three and um, I'm feeling good. I mean, my first two vlogs, if you look at them, uh, you know, they're like really cerebral and they're really... Um, you know, it was, it was tough for a while. It was a lot of hard work in the beginning, and it was a lot of, um, you know, it was a little bit of pushback, and it was really hard dealing with that, you know, and, and I learned a lot from that. And I think the kids learned a lot. And then, um, you know, thankfully, the last two Mondays of school have been, like, amazing. Like, you know, uh, Mondays are usually not the best, uh, the best, you know, it's tough, especially coming in off the break. But the last two Mondays, the last three Mondays have been some of the best Mondays of my life. And you know, um, well, let me tell you about it. Back in week two, um, we rolled out for the second week. And uh, you can see here, I, I made this lesson. This was probably one of the best lessons I ever taught. Uh, it was kind of like a Frankenstein lesson between myself and a couple of members of the team. We put this together. And we were trying to teach these kids like the snowball effect, like what it's like to take a small idea and chase it down these research rabbit holes. And um, I made a video of myself doing it and, you know, kind of got the kids all pumped up. And then, um, you know, um, they made these like mind maps. Here's an example of one where like the kids, you know, this kid just like, you know, snowballed about chocolate. Like I told him anything you put into Google, you know, what makes you go and click one thing to the next thing to the next thing to the next thing? Like, why do you do that? Like, what what is it that that makes you do that? Just go snowball on anything. And that's all we did for an entire period. And the point of the lesson was the take home message was somewhere between, oh, you know, that's cool. And ooh, so is that. That's your passion. Like that line there is like, that's where you're going to find your passion. Like that little thing in your brain that says like, oh, let me go click that. Let me see where that brings me when you're kind of doing these like internet research things. Um, that's where, that's where it comes from. And um, I don't know, it was, it was a really mint lesson and it really set the kids up for that week. Like that we were trying to find our passion and really develop um, these research skills and, and really get our hands dirty and just get in there and, and do it. And the mentoring sessions that week were just, you know, outstanding. And uh, it was a really good week. Week two was really good. Um, and it's weird, the big idea is in this like fragile moment and you know, like it can really go either way and then all of a sudden, boom, you know, we go on winter break. And um, that was, I think that was tough. I was, I was nervous about that, but you know, um, we kind of ran out of here kicking and screaming, no big deal. Um, the next Monday I spent on the slopes, I put myself on the snowboard. That's me with the, the video strapped to my head. I was pretty pumped about that. Uh, there's my buddy Adam, he's about to do a little jump. Um, yeah, so that was cool. Um, so that was a good Monday. And now we come back for week three and week three's Monday was, was pretty meant too. It's like, um, these kids came in and they were like, all right, you know, like, this is it. This is the big idea. What do I have to do? They already knew what they had to do. Um, they, they kind of got used to it. You know, kids forget fast. Uh, you know, they, they're, they get into it. Um, you know, this is just part of their, they, the part of their pattern. And so the first lesson of this week was just finding that inspiration. You know, like we gave them a choice. They got to look at different articles or videos, you know, multiple access points. And they found, and they had to share something that inspired them this morning, and they put it up on the board. Uh, maybe saw this on Twitter or whatever. And then um, the second lesson for the, this week was just kind of like uh, I, de I developed this kind of video lesson on how to how to Google better, and it was pretty cool. Like I got observed by my principal, and I got some really good feedback um, from the instructional leaders at the school. Said it was it was you know good. We took a boring subject like how to make Google better, uh, how to use Google better, and, and turn it into something. Um, you know, that's meaningful to them because they need it. They need this skill. So uh, that was really cool. Um, so the last, you know, I guess to end it, you know, the last three Mondays have been been really good. And uh, I'm just hoping that the next couple of Mondays are good too. You know, um, we set up this, a colleague of mine set up this timeline uh, to kind of help the students that are still a little overwhelmed, that are still maybe having some hesitation so that they can kind of track their progress through it. And hopefully, you know, every time we roll out one of these checkpoints, you know, we have like a really sick Monday, you know, like a nice Monday that kicks off the week. Like, I mean, I, I never realized this is a lesson in itself. I never realized how important Mondays were. You know, it really sets the tone for the week. And if you walk into a Monday and you're like, oh, okay, I hate doing this, um, it's going to set your week up, uh, you know, to be that way. And you're, you're going to be playing catch up or you're going to be in recovery mode for the entire week. So if you're just trying to come in there and crush the Monday, you know, um, you know, seize the week and start right from the beginning, It's it'll really set you up for a good week. So I've had three really good Mondays. I'm not saying that every day of the week is, has been outstanding and awesome. I mean, I had some tough times 
the last two weeks also. But, um, you know, if you've Looking back on them in retrospect, I got out to a good start on all of them, and as a result, uh, not that I wasn't happy when they were over, but I look back on them, you know, more more favorably. So that's what I got uh, for me today. Um, you know, that's my that's my big idea for today. I look forward to uh, updating you more as we continue, and uh, you know, seize the Mondays. All right, uh, hit the music. <laughs>